Fly through the air as I had to fulfill my purpose To shake the whole earth with a boom when I hit the surface They trembling nervous, they know I'm coming for certain Tomorrow all these niggas devour all of these serpents I patiently waited to turn up with fervent heat now that I'm activated I'ma blow cause it's World War III, I hear you weeping You're mourning, your nasty near the teeth Hiroshima and Nakasaki ain't got nothing on me I was raised by chemists, I was made for the judgment Don't be testing my limits, don't be pushing my buttons In the Bible they call me flame and rebuke and you know that that's the truth, but my homies call me nuke, call me nuke. I was sent here to destroy the pleasures of sin. In the day of darkness, even darker than when the day begin. Annihilation, no time for evacuations. When these warheads split, it look worse than decapitations. Repentant dies, it's just genocide or it's genocide. I'd be damn if I'm going to leave this sheep out here, Gavin. I'ma hold the line. All right, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ, bless. Hey, this is 15 minutes with the captains. I'm Captain Hoshaya. Soldier, you're right. And today's topic is 1 John 5, the children of God. This part of the Dissecting Christianity series, this part two. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up with 1 John chapter 5, verse 1. 1 John chapter 5, verse 1. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And everyone that love of him that begat, love of him also that is begotten of him. Look, if you love Christ, you love the Father. You can't love the Father without loving Christ. It's simple as that. You can't love the Father without loving Christ. Read. By this, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grief. It says, by this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his command. You can't say you love God and you hate the children of God. It says this is how we know if we love the children of God and we love God and keep his command. Guess what y'all? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they are the children of God. And the only way you can show your love to the children of God is when you love God and keep his command. These other nations, y'all do not keep God's commandments. And one of the reasons why y'all don't keep God's commandments is because the commandments ain't for you. Now let me prove to you that the Israelites are the children of God. Let's go to Romans chapter 9. And let's start at verse 7. Romans 9 verse 7. Romans chapter 9 verse 7. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. That's because they come from the seed of Abraham, read. Are they all children? Are they all children of who? Children of God. That's because you come from the seed of Abraham. That don't make you a child of God. Read on. Huh? But in Isaac shall I see be called. He said, but in Isaac shall I see be called. Those are going to be the ones that are born of God. Read on. Huh? That is, they which are the children of the flesh. He said, those that are the children of the flesh. Who was a child, a child of the flesh? Hey, uh, Ishmael. He was a child, he was a child of the flesh. Read on. Huh? These are not the children of God. These are not the children of God, read. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. They say the children of the promise, the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Let's see what the children of the promise is. Jump up to verse 4. Verse 4. Who are Israelites to whom pertain of the adoption? So Christ died on the cross. That belongs to the Israelites. Pertaining means belong. Christ died on the cross only for the Israelites, read. And the glory read. and the, the covenant. The kingdom of heaven is only for the Israelites, read. And the covenants. The old covenant and the new covenant. Notice it said covenants. That's only for the Israelites, read. And the giving of the law. Read. And the service of God. And the promises. So, and the promises. So the Israelites are the children of God. It's simple as that. Go right back to what we said, 1 John 5. Let's start at verse 1 again. 1 John chapter 5, verse 1. Read. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. You hear that? If you believe that, if you Israelites believe that Jesus is the Christ, you a child of God. Read. And everyone that love of him that begat, love of him also that is begotten of him. And you love, and if you love the Father, you're gonna love the Father's child. You're gonna love Jesus Christ. Read. By this, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. That's the only way you know that you love God's children. When you love God and keep his commandments. Simple as that. You can't sit up there and say you love God, but you hate God's children. 
You can't say you love God and you hate blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It is what it is. You can't say you love God and you hate your own people. Read on. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God, read. That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. If you love God, you're going to keep his commandments. You can't say you love God and don't keep his commandments. You can't say you love God and don't love his children. You can't say you love God and you don't even love his son. You don't love the father's son. Read up. And his commandments are not grief. And they ain't hard to do. Read up. For whatsoever is born of God. It said for whatsoever is born of God. Read. Overcome the world. Every child of God is able to defeat the world. You're able to defeat the world. Why? You ain't going to continue in sin. Christ died for you. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he was left an example that you should fall in steps. Read up. And this is the victory that overcome of the world. Even our faith. Even our faith. Get that in Revelation 14 and 12. Even our faith. Our faith in what? Let's see. Revelation chapter 14 verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. They say, here are they that keep the commandments of God. Read. And the faith of Jesus. And the faith of Jesus. That's how we overcome the world. Keeping the commandments and the faith of Christ. We are the children of the living God. And you can't say you love God and you hate his children. That's how we know the world is a lie. The world is a lie. Because y'all sit up there and say you love God and everything is love, 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 but you hate the children of God. You deal with the children of God unjustly. You know what I'm saying? You deal with the children of God unjustly. And guess what? For your injustice, you gonna pay. Go right back to what we was at, verse 5 again. First John chapter 5, verse 4. For whatsoever is born of God, overcome of the world. And this is the victory that overcome of the world, even our faith. Me? Who is he that overcome of the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. And if you believe, go to Sirach 32, verse 24. Ecclesiastes chapter 32, verse 24. Sirach chapter 32, verse 24. Let's see if you really believe, read. He that believeth in the Lord, take of heed to the commandment. You see that? You take heed to the commandments. You're going to keep the commandments. You can't go nowhere. I mean, you can't go no. You can't go no way around the commandments, y'all. It is no way around the commandments. For real. That's why Christianity, y'all, got to get it right. That's why we said we dissect the Christianity. And that's what we in. We in the New Testament. The New Testament. Get that in Revelation 22. Verse 14. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. You can't go around the commandments of God. Read. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Keeping the commandments and the faith of Christ. Read. That they may have right to the tree of life. You want eternal life? Read. And may enter in through the gates into the city. And enter in through the gates of the city. You want right to the tree of life? You want to enter in into the kingdom of heaven? Guess what you got to do? You got to do the commandments. You can't say you love God and don't keep his commandments. For real. You can't say you love the children of God. Because you have black people saying black lives matter. But you need your, but you need God and don't keep his commandments. So black lives really don't matter to you. Because if black lives really matter to black people, guess what y'all will do? You will keep God's commandments. For real. That's the only way to show that black lives matter and that you love the church of God. So with that, y'all, I'm going to say shalom. Most high Christ bless. These 15 minutes with the captains. First John 5, the children of God. Dissect the Christianity part 2. Shalom.
Q is sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.